Uh, good morning, Dr. Glenn Davies, uh, for Reversal NZ and for Reverse T2 Diabetes uh, TOPOR. Uh, and I'm going to start looking at uh, the issue of mental health and lifestyle medicine. Uh, so I'm going to be referencing this article here, uh, which is a brilliant article uh, written by Professor Grant Schofield uh, from Precure. So uh, there'll be a series of uh, videos about this topic and I'm going to start by looking at the role of antidepressants and do they work in mild to moderate depression. Uh, so, so definitely our, our modern lifestyles uh, are significantly different um, from what those of our ancestors were. Uh, we live with significantly more stress and more pressure and our lives are less natural and less involved with nature. So the question, uh, do medications uh, work for mild anxiety and mild depression? Uh, do we understand these conditions and is there a better way perhaps with uh, lifestyle change? Uh, so that brings us to the serotonin hypothesis, uh, also known as the monoamine hypothesis. Uh, and this is where the modern antidepressants come from, um, usually referred to as SSRIs, serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Uh, the ones that people will be familiar with are uh, medications such as Prozac, uh, Paroxetine, uh, Arapax, Venlafaxine. Um, so the serotonin hypothesis hypothesizes that serotonin levels, uh, so serotonin is a neurotransmitter in the brain, the hypothesis is that the levels of serotonin are low, uh, in anxiety and depression and if we give a medicine that increases the level of serotonin then the symptoms of anxiety and depression will resolve. Uh, now back in 2008 a researcher called Irving uh, Kursich um, suggested that antidepressants were no better than placebo so he did a meta-analysis, uh, which means uh, looking at a whole lot of trials. Uh, and by looking at a number of trials, you get more um, statistical power. So he looked at, um, at that and his conclusion was analysis of the published data and the unpublished data that were hidden by drug companies revealed that most, if not all, of the benefits are due to the placebo effect. The serotonin theory is as close as any theory in the history of science to having been proved wrong. So, pretty strong statement. And then, um, back in 2018, there was a separate uh, meta-analysis by Capriani, published in The Lancet, and that said, uh, we found that the most commonly used antidepressants are more effective than placebo and in some and some being more effective than others. Um, so basically saying that that 2008 study was wrong and then uh, the exact same data was reanalyzed re in 2019, the conclusion being the evidence does not support definitive conclusions regarding the benefits of antidepressants for depression in adults. It is unclear whether antidepressants are more efficacious than placebo. And then we come to uh, 2020, uh, the British Medical Journal. Benefits of antidepressants seem to be minimal and possibly without any importance to the average patient with major depressive disorder. Antidepressants should be used with adults with major depressive disorder. Uh, more valid evidence has shown that the potential benefits 
um, outweigh the harmful effects. And then um, uh, the food, the US Food and Drug Agency, uh, talking, putting a black box warning on some SSRIs, uh, showing the increased chance of suicidality, uh, potentially well, poss um, for those less than age uh, 24. So, you know, what do we conclude from that is a bit of going backwards and forwards. Um, but my conclusion is that if there is a benefit, uh, that it's minimal. Um, and I think we need to be looking uh, for a better way. And I think that's where lifestyle medicine has its potential. And it is now um, the mainstream guidelines that lifestyle interventions should be tried first, as of course they should be in all conditions. So non-pharmacological interventions are essential in the management of patients with depression and should be continued even if medications are initiated. And they talk about cognitive behavioral therapy, which is the main form of counseling used nowadays, relaxation techniques such as mindfulness, education about depression, so that depression is not a sign of weakness, it is a medical condition uh, experienced by one in six people at some stage in their life, social support from Fano, family and friends, maintaining cultural, religious and spiritual connections, regular exercise, including group activities, a healthy diet, addressing alcohol and drug intake and sleep hygiene. So what I'm going to go on and talk about in um, some future uh, videos is we're going to talk about a new hypothesis that is replacing the serotonin hypothesis, uh, which has probably been proven uh, not to be the reason. So we're going to talk about the glutamate and GABA uh, neurotransmitters and the glutamate hypothesis. And then we'll look at each of these aspects of uh, lifestyle medicine and how they interact and are effective treatments uh, in the treatment of anxiety um, and mild depression. Uh, so uh, that's what's coming up. Thank you.